so for tonight's practice, just a, a nice rug or a blanket that's been rolled up, um, and then a yoga block or a hard back book. So just have these all just kind of handy, um, just for the start of class. So we're just gonna come in to a comfortable seated position. So for some people sitting just flat on the floor with their legs crossed isn't that comfortable. So some people like to sit on your block or if you wanna to come to sit on your blanket. So just placing your hips just on top of that. And then just coming into a nice cross-legged position or if you want just to start to open up in the hips, you can place um, your feet just kind of stacked in front of one another so your heels are kind of lined up and your feet are to the side. We're just going to take a couple of gentle shoulder rolls just to start to open things up and then bringing it forward. And we're going to start off just with a, a light breathing exercise called a three part breath. So if you want to bring your left hand just to your low tummy and then your right hand just across your heart. And just close down your eyes and just take a couple of breaths just to really feel your hands rising and falling with your inhales and your exhales. And I'm just going to talk you through the three part breath before we do it. So we, we think of our three part breath as we're breathing through our tummy, then we're breathing out through our ribs and then we're breathing up through our collarbones and our chest. And then to exhale, we're going to breathe out through our collarbones, breathe out, feel our ribs come in, and then breathe out, feel our tummy go back in. So we can take a couple of rounds getting used to it, but just think about tummy, ribs, and then collarbones up. Okay, so a deep inhale, breathe through the tummy, expand through the ribs, open up across our collarbones, and then exhale, bringing the collarbones back in, ribs back in, pulling your tummy in. Inhale, expand through the tummy, expand through the ribs, up through the chest, lifting your chin, and then exhale, back through the chest, back through the ribs, pulling your tummy in. So inhale, feel that tummy in the hand, feel your ribs go out wide, feel your chest lift up, and then exhale, feel your chest drop, your ribs come in and your tummy come in. And you're just going to continue that breath just in your own time. So just thinking chest down, ribs in, tummy in for your exhale. And for your inhale, pushing your tummy into that right hand, feeling your ribs expand to the side and then feeling your chest lift up with your left hand. And this breath just allows us to fill up all the space in which our lungs take up. And just with having our hands on our tummy and our chest, it just adds a little bit of physicalness to our breath. We breathe obviously all the time, but this kind of action of holding our body as we breathe just really allows us to tap into it. Just taking one more round of inhales and exhales. Just going at your own pace. And then when you're done, you're just gonna bring your hands just to your knees, just so they're facing up to the earth, rolling your shoulders down. And just taking some normal breaths and feel, just sensing how those breaths feel compared to the breaths you took at the start. And then just flickering open your eyes if you softened your gaze. We're just going to bring our hands into a cactus shape. So your elbows are going to be in line with your shoulders. Hands are going to be really active here. So we're going to inhale to lift our chest up. Exhale. We're just going to turn slightly to the left. So on an inhale, making your spine nice and long. And on the exhale, twisting to the left. Really grinding down through your right hip here. Now just because of the shape of our legs, it won't be a big twist. And as it is the start of practice, just being gentle with our body. And then we're going to inhale to come through the center, stay for the exhale. Then inhale again, reaching up, up from 
our hips out to the corner of our head and exhale, twisting out to the right. And just while we're holding it here, just keep thinking about with every inhale, just lengthening a little bit more through your spine with every exhale, just breathing into it, pulling that low tummy in and up. So as if someone's grabbing behind your belly button, they're pulling it up. And that will create more space to allow you to turn into your twist. And then exhale through to center. And we're just going to bring our feet together to touch in front of us. So Supta Baddha Konasana legs. So as if your legs were like a book, they're just going to open up. So having your feet a bit of a distance away from your body, you don't want them to be in too close. And just bringing your hands to rest in your knees here. We're just going to take some cat cow in this position. So inhale, rolling the chest forward, squeezing those shoulders together. And then exhale, curling the spine back. Not leaning too far as you are still sitting on your block of your blanket. Inhale, rolling, scooping that chest forward, open through your collarbones. And then exhale to roll it back. And then inhale, just coming through the center. And we're just going to bring our hands just down to our feet here, keeping our spine nice and long, taking a couple of breaths, and then if you want, keeping that nice, long, proud spine, chest nice and open, just folding over those feet. Now, for many people, this won't be a big movement. And if you are sitting on a block, you'll probably feel that the block's starting to tap into some of those um, juicy parts on our legs that often get quite tight. So just breathe into that. Just like we maybe foam roll, this is what kind of the block's doing to your legs right now. And thinking about that breath that we started in class, so that deep expanding breath, keeping that with you. Taking one more inhale here. And then exhale, coming off it. And then just using your hands to support your life, just bringing your knees in. Just sending your hands down. We're just going to lift our block just out of the way. Then we're going to open our legs up to a straddle. Now, you straddle, you don't have to have your legs really far apart. Ideally, your legs should actually be a right angle. So don't take them any wider than you need to. So just a nice, comfortable position here. So I'm trying to work on your knees turning out the way. So as if you had to torches coming out of your knees, they'd be shining behind you here. We're just going to place our block just to our left leg here. So inhale, lifting out from the ribs, and we're going to turn over to the left hand side, keeping that length, and exhale, we're just going to fold over that left leg. Now, there's loads of options you can do with your block here. The main aim of this is bringing the floor up to you. So if you want, you can even bring your block or your book, or even if you're like, you have your blanket, just to your leg and set your hands there. Or you can bring your forehead down to the block. Just finding a position that's nice and comfortable here. And if you don't need the block and you can bring your hands to the mat, keeping your chest nice and open, you can do that. Just breathing into our left side. Slowly starting to waken up the back lines of our legs. One more deep inhale here, sending the breath where you need to. And then exhale, walking your hands up. And then we're going to turn to the right hand side. If you want to bring your block with you and take the same kind of variation, you can on that side. So inhale, reaching that chest forward, and exhale, just folding over that right leg. And try not to round your spine here. Keep your shoulders away from your ears, chest nice and proud. Just taking yourself just so you can feel where you're starting to stretch. The aim of this is to open ourselves up and by folding in on ourselves, we're not opening through our chest and we're letting our core um, not be engaged. Taking one more inhale here. One more deep exhale, sigh it out if you need to. And then walking your hands back up to center. And then just bringing our block just in between our legs. Again, lifting right from our hips. So imagine you're lifting from your hip bones all the way up, all through the sides of our waist. And then exhale, folding forward here. And again, using your block or your book or your blanket, just bringing it somewhere that's comfortable for you. And 
making sure you're lengthening out through your spine, keeping your shoulders away from your ears, and just trying to soften somewhere in your body. Taking one more deep inhale, and exhale, slowly coming out of that, just walking yourselves out, just setting your props out to the side, and then bringing your knees in, just setting your feet quite wide, and we're just gonna do some windshield wipers just to ease that off on our legs. And then taking your blanket, which should be nice and tightly rolled up. If you haven't got one, if you missed, missed the um, point at the start of class, you're welcome to go grab one, or if you have your block. We're just gonna come to lie on the mat, and then we're gonna bring our blanket just right to the bottom of our back. So there's a nice sweet spot right at the base of our back before we get to our bum, it's quite flat. So just bringing it right to the bottom of our back. And then we're gonna do those nice open legs again. So your feet are gonna to come together to touch and your knees are gonna to drop to the side. We're gonna bring our right hand back to our tummy and our left hand back to our heart. We're just gonna do that three part breath again for a couple of rounds. Just allowing the weight of our legs and our lower back to really sink into that blanket. So remember our three part breath is expanding through the tummy, expanding through the ribs, lifting the chest up, and exhale, the chest drops, the ribs come in, the belly goes in. So allowing that blanket to support you in this position, just as we start to open through the Spall of our back. So if you want in your exhale, you're welcome to sigh it out. And taking one more round of breath. Taking yourself right to the very, very top of your inhale before you start your exhale. And again, just using your hands, just bringing your knees back in. And then we're just gonna lift our hips and just set the blanket or the block just over to the side and then slowly lowering ourselves down. And you wanna just reach your hands down just so you can just about tickle your ankles. So you don't wanna be able to grab them, you wanna just be able to touch them. And then lifting our, all 10 toes off the mat and then placing those toes back down so we have a nice solid base. You're gonna bring your hands either side of your body. On inhale, you're gonna lift yourself up, picking one vertebrae at a time off the mat into our bridge. By magnetizing those knees together, squeezing through the glutes and using your hamstrings. And then exhale, we're gonna roll all the way back down, one vertebrae at a time. And then inhale, curling your tailbone up, we're gonna come all back up into our bridge. And then really pushing down through our left leg. We're gonna lift our right leg up and our right knee is gonna be in line with our left knee. And we're gonna flex, flex those right toes towards our face and stamp out through that right foot. Rebending that right leg and then just coming back down to settle. Staying for an inhale here and exhaling out of side if you need. And then inhale, tucking that tailbone under, lifting our hips up. And then reaching our left leg this time in line with our right knee. And again, kicking that left leg out. So flexing those toes. Keep lifting your hips up, engaging through that right hamstring and the right glute. And then exhale, bending that foot. Bending your knee, sorry, placing your foot back down onto the mat. Staying for the exhale, taking a deep inhale. And then on your next inhale, lifting the hips up again. And then just bringing each shoulder underneath you so you can clasp your hands and then reaching those hands away. And get a lovely expansion through your chest here. So keep grinding down through your feet, keep lifting those hips up. Taking one more inhale. And then exhale, unclasping your hands, 
rolling all the way back down. And then just bringing your knees in towards your chest and just grabbing hold of your knees. And you're just going to do little circles with your legs. You can massage into the lower of your back. And then changing direction. And then coming to find some stillness. And then we're just going to tabletop our legs. So what we mean by that is our knees are going to be directly above our hips and our feet are going to be directly in line with our knees. So a nice 90 degree angle with our knees here. Making sure your shoulder blades are down your back. We're just going to do some toe taps. So keeping that 90 degree angle with your right leg. As if you're dipping your toe in water, you're just going to bring that right toe down, let it touch the mat, and then it bring it back up to meet your left knee. Dipping your left toe down this time. Touch the mat and bringing it back up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bring your left down. And inhale to back up. And you're just going to keep doing that in your own time. And you'll start to feel the deep core stabilizer start to engage. Inhale down. Exhale up. And those deep core stabilizers are important for anything when we're doing balancing in yoga. So they might not be the six pack that everyone wants, but they're very, very important muscles. We're just going to do one more on each side to dip that toe down. Exhale back up and then hugging your knees in towards your chest. And again, welcome to roll around to the small of your back. We're just going to do that one more time, but this time we're going to encourage you to break, dip both toes at the same time. So we're really squeezing those knees together. Imagine you've got um, a hundred pound note in between your knees and you don't want to lose it. Squeezing those knees together. We're going to inhale to come down, dip your toes, and exhale to bring it back up. Inhale down, dip your toes. Exhale back up, and one more time. Inhale down and exhale back up, very good, hugging your knees in, giving yourself a cuddle, giving yourself a well done. We're going to place our feet on the mat, and then picking up your right foot, you're just going to cross your right ankle just above your left ankle, sorry, left knee, so figure four shape, and then thinking about setting your right knee forward, so we're opening into that right hip, and you're welcome to stay here, or you can pick up your left foot and grab behind your left thigh. So actively pushing that right knee forward and bring that left knee in towards your chest and lighting up the outer hip of our right. So just breathing in here. And then bringing our left foot down towards the mat. And then just lifting your hips slightly over to the right and then letting that right foot drop over, coming into a supine twist, opening our arm out to the right hand side. And if you want to increase this twist, what you can do is with your left hand, you can grab your right ankle and then just slide your right ankle up towards your left hip. So you're reducing the angle and the bend of your right leg and that'll just get in more to your right hip. And your gaze can be over your right shoulder or you can still gaze up to the sky. So whatever's comfortable for your neck. Feel that opening in our lower back. Taking one more inhale here. And then on exhale, using your core, bringing your legs back through the center and then setting up your hips so they're nice and neutral again. This time crossing our left ankle just above our left knee. Again, just seeing how this side feels here. So letting that left knee come forward. And if you feel comfortable there, picking up your right leg and just grabbing behind your right thigh. And try to be active in your feet here. We don't give our feet enough attention, so spread out your toes. Really push out through the heel of your foot. Keep thinking about sending that left knee forward. Trying to relax through your shoulders. And then bringing our right foot down, shimming our hips off to the left and then the left foot's going to drop to the right hand side. Again, arms can come whichever way they want, whichever's comfortable for you. 
And again, if you want to increase, just grabbing hold of that left ankle and just shimmying it closer to your right hip so you reduce the bend in your left knee. But remember, no side is equal. So even if you did that movement on one side and it felt fine and this side, it doesn't. You're more than welcome to just ease out of it. One more breath here, bending it where you need to, and then exhale to unwind out of your twist, and then just bringing your knees back in. We're just going to give ourselves another quick huddle, and then just rock and roll just along your back a couple of times, and then just coming forward. We're going to come into a nice side stretch here, so you're going to lie lengthways along your mat. Your feet and hips are going to be stacked. And we're going to place our right hand just slightly away from us so we have a nice um, angle there. And what we're going to do, now this is a bit strange to be saying in yoga, is you're going to try and shrug your shoulder so that it's close to your um, right ear. And then really let your hips get heavy and you'll start to feel a nice stretch all along your right hand side. And if you're not feeling that, just walk that right hand out a bit more. And then we're going to drop our um, right ear down to our right shoulder and then we're going to lift our left arm. So you should feel a nice stretch all along your right side and a nice stretch all along the left side of your neck. And if you want, you can even just move that left arm up and down a few times just to really get in to all the lovely muscles on the left hand side of your neck. You can maybe do some circles with that arm as well. So keep letting those ribs in your right side drop down, breathing into those right ribs. If you find a nice juicy spot with your, where you're stretching your neck, you're welcome to stay there. And then bringing that left hand just in front of us and then supporting us up and we're just going to swap that over to the other side. So ankles and hips are going to be stacked. That left arm is going to be away from your body. And if, you, if it doesn't feel the stretch, just walk it a little bit further. And then really slump down. So think about your ribs really sinking down to the mat. Your um, left shoulder is going to um, sink up to your ear. You're going to bring your ear down to that shoulder. And again, we're going to reach that right hand away from us. And just making whichever movements feel good for you with your right arm here. What you'd imagine someone's grabbing that right arm and really pulling it and then do your movements. So it could be up and down or it can be circles, side to side. Just you can feel this nice stretch. And if you're struggling with your balance here, you're welcome to just bring your top foot just in front. And placing that hand just in front of us and we're just going to turn over so we're coming onto our all fours. And just doing some cat cow, so dropping the belly, lifting the chin and the chest up, belly button comes down and exhale, pushing the ground away, curling the tailbone under. Inhale to drop down, open to the chest and exhale, push the ground away. And then keeping your knees as they are, we're just going to come to a a child's pose just with a shy, sh oh, <laughs> nearly, nearly swore, a slightly um, a shorter stance. So usually in child's pose our knees are really wide. So this one we're just going to keep our knees kind of close together. And taking a couple of inhales here. And then exhale, you're just going to ripple yourself forward. And just going to sink your hips down, just coming in to an up dog variation. So usually in up dog we lift our knees, but for this one we're going to keep our knees nice and flat. Inhale here. Stay for the exhale. And then for your next inhale, we're then going to come back into that child's pose. Exhale when you get into the pose. And then inhale, curling your back forward and then sinking your hips down. Stay for the exhale. And then inhale, pushing your hips up and back, going back into that child's pose. So we're just going to keep doing this flow for a couple of times. So we move on the inhale, 
So moving, really arch that spine up and then drop the belly button down. When we get there, we stay for the exhale. And inhale, push the ground away, sending your hips back. Stay for the exhale and then inhale, making a big angry cat back and then dropping that belly down, opening through your chest, shoulder blades coming together. Inhale to come back to your child's pose. I'm just going to do this one more time. Staying in your child's pose for the exhale and then inhale to really round your chin into your chest forward and then opening through the collarbones. And then next inhale, coming back to our child's pose. Really weakening up our spine. And then just coming forward back onto our all fours. We're just gonna pick up our right leg and we're just gonna bring our right foot in between our hands, just coming into our low lunge. So just, if you have your block or your bit handy, just have it near the top of your mat for if we're gonna be using it. We're gonna inhale to sweep up and exhale sinking into our low lunge here. So thinking about sending that right knee back, left hip forward, sinking deep into our lunge, picking our low tummy up. And then bring your right hand to our right hip, left hand to our uh, left knee. Inhale here and exhale, we're gonna twist out to the right hand side. If you want, you can even bring that right hand just to the bottom of your back to increase your twist. And then inhaling through the center, bring your left hand nice and wide and peeling your heart open to the right hand side. Keep hugging that right hip in here. And then inhale through the center. And then just bringing your block just to the inside, so your big toe side of your right foot. You're going to bring your hand down to your block of your foot. You're just going to turn your back foot just so it comes out at 45 degrees. And then we're going to peel our heart open to the left hand side. So you just a side angle variation here. So your upper arm and your your upper arm of your right arm and your right knee should be connected. So push them into one another and you'll light up your right leg. And then exhale, just bringing that hand down. Placing your block over to the side. And you're just going to walk that right foot out to the edge. So we're coming into lizard on this side. So your big toes, your right foot are facing two o'clock. I'm just gonna show you a lizard variation here. So a lizard twist. So you're more than welcome to stay here or if you wanna come onto forearms with your block, you can. So you're gonna pick up your back foot. You're gonna turn your back foot so you're on the pinky toe edge of your back foot. And as you do this, you're gonna come onto the pinky toe edge of your right foot. And then you're going to reach that right arm behind you. So just coming into a bit of a twist. So really opening up that right hip. Staying for one more breath. And exhale, placing your hands onto the mat. Picking up your back foot if you haven't already. And we're going to step forward. And we're just going to come into a molasses. And we're going to stay here for five breaths. So if you have your block handy, you're welcome to just come to sit on your block, but really focus on those elbows and the inside edge of your knees and opening up our hips. Breathing deeply into where we're opening. Taking one more breath and then exhale, coming out of that, just forward folding and just setting your block over to the side. In your forward fold, just clasping your hands together, placing them on the bottom or of your bottom of your head, top of your neck, that bit. <laughs> and just really sinking down. And exhale to release your hands. Inhale, you're gonna reach your right leg up behind you. And then you're gonna cross, I'm gonna turn around so you can see it better. You're gonna bring your right foot so that it's kind it's coming to the same edge as your pinky toes, so your pinky toes are lining up. So as you look at your feet, they look like they're the wrong way around. So your legs are crossed with your right leg behind you. And you can have a deep bend in your legs here, and you can grab your block if you want to, just for support. And just thinking about sending your chest down towards your leg, so you're really lining up that outer seam of our right leg.
Stay for one more breath. And exhale, just coming out of it. And back into our forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. And then exhale, we're going to step our right leg behind us, dropping our knee down and inhaling up into our low lunge on the other side. So picking our low belly up again, sinking down into that right hip, active through our left leg. Bring your right hand to our right knee, left hand to our left hip or our lower back. Inhale, lifting as if someone was pulling you with the string at the top of your head. Then exhale, twisting out to the left hand side. And pulling your glutes into the midline, so squeezing your glutes together. Keep bending into that left knee. And exhaling through the center, placing our right hand nice and wide. And inhale to peel your heart open to the left hand side. Deep bend on that left knee. Try not to sink that shoulder down. You really want to push that ground away. And then coming back up through centre. And then if you want, you can bring your block to the inside edge of your left foot. Bring your left hand down to your block. And just pick up your right foot. And then just spin on your knee almost. And then just set your right foot back down just so it's at an angle. And we're going to inhale, peeling our heart open to the right hand side. Just coming into a side angle variation. And if you can reach the ground without your block, just move your block out of the way. Or you can just bring that forearm to your leg. Keep squeezing that leg into the arm and back again. And then exhale to come out of it. And just coming into our lizard, so walking that foot, so big toe to 10 o'clock this time. Bringing our forehands, forehands, four, our hands down to the mat. And if you want to come into that variation, that twisted variation, I can talk you through it again. So just picking up your back foot, Spinning so that you're on the pinky toe edge of your right foot. And as you spin on your right foot, you spin your left foot to come to the pinky toe edge of your left foot. And then reaching that left arm behind you. So your hips are lifted off the mat here. The only parts on the ground are your hands and the, your right hand to the pinky toe edge of each foot. Taking one more breath here. And then exhale, coming back through to your lizard. And if your back knee is um, on the ground, just lift it up. And then we're going to step that right foot forward and sinking down into our malasana. And again, you're welcome to bring your block and just place it under your bum. We're just going to stay here for five breaths or so. So pushing those elbows into your knees and those knees back into your elbows. You're lighting up the inner seams of your legs. One more inhale, and then exhale, forward fold, straightening our legs, bringing our feet back so that they're hip width apart. And then this time, just bringing our hands, grabbing opposite elbows, and just hanging out there. So we're opening up our chest. Hands down to the mat, inhale to halfway lift, shoulders in line with your hips, and exhale to forward fold. Inhale to pick your left leg up behind you, and we're just going to do that crossing again. So your left leg is behind your right leg, and you're bringing so that your pinky toes are coming to meet. So sometimes you might need to just lift that front leg in order to place it there. That's absolutely fine. And you can have a nice deep bend in your legs here. Again, welcome to grab your block or book just to bring that ground slightly higher. Really feeling that stretch all along our left leg. Stay for one more breath. And exhale to untwist, just coming into our forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift, open through our chest. And exhale, stepping back onto your all fours. Opening that hip out to the right hand side. And then straightening the leg and then placing your toes onto the mat so that our toes are facing the same direction as our hands, and then slowly walking ourselves up, coming into our gate pose. 
So our right leg's nice and straight and our toes are pointing towards the front. Reaching our arms up, so we're back in those cactus arms. And we're gonna do our cat cows here. So we're gonna inhale, bring our, bring our shoulder together open to our chest. And then exhale, bringing our shoulders in front, our elbows in front, rounding our shoulder blades. Inhale to open up. And exhale to curl it in. And be as expressive at this as you want. So inhale, really open it up. And exhale to close it in. And inhale, coming back through the center. Placing your left hand onto the ground. And if you want, you can place it on your mat. And just reaching that right hand all the way overhead. So getting a nice stretch from your pinky toe all the way to your baby finger. And breathing into that right hip. And then inhaling up to center and then just swapping up. So right arm down that right leg, left arm is going to go over to the um, right. And then inhaling through the center, just placing your hands on the mat and just swapping up our leg position. So our left leg is going to come out this time. So directly in line with our hip, toes are going to face forward and then rising up into our gate pose. Bringing our arms again into that cactus. So inhale, opening the chest up, and just be as expressive as you want, and exhale, closing it in. Nobody's watching you. If you want to flail your arms around, you can. And exhale to curl it back in, tucking your tailbone under. Inhale to really reach it up, open your chest, and exhale. Curl it back in, big curve in the back. And inhale through the center. Placing your right hand down, gonna reach that left arm overhead. Feel a nice stretch all in your left hip flexor here. And then swapping it up, left arm down your leg, right arm overhead. And then coming through the center. Just bring your hands onto the mat bringing your knees together, and then just coming to sit and bringing both legs out in front. You're gonna bend your right foot so that it comes just to the outside, sorry, inside edge of your left leg, so your big toe side of your left leg. Bringing your right hand behind you and just twisting out to the right hand side. So you're welcome to hug that right knee in with your left arm. And don't be too aggressive with this twist. We're starting to slow the body down, so just allowing your body to twist within its limits. And then inhaling through the center, just slightly twisting out to the left, just as a counter twist. And then just swapping up to bending that left leg to your left big toe is on the inside edge of your right knee. Placing that left hand behind you, inhaling, lifting up and exhaling, just hugging that knee in. And if you are hugging that knee in, really think about broadening through that space behind your heart. Letting your shoulder blades come away from each other. And then inhale, just doing that slight counter twist. And then placing your legs back in that straddle position. So at the start of class, we kept things very upright. This time we're going to do a lot more restorative. So having your block um, handy or your blanket. And this time, starting from our tailbone, we're going to start to really round things up. So creating a nice deep curve in your spine. And then just coming to rest your arms on the ground or onto a block and letting your head hang. So you feel a nice stretch all along your back body here. And just closing down your eyes and just thinking, where can you release here? Are you maybe squeezing onto your glutes or are you holding onto your knees? Just really relaxing into the posture. Taking another couple of breaths here. And then slowly just working your way out of that. Placing your block out to the side if you had it, bringing your legs back through the center. We're just gonna come to lie on our back. Bringing 
both feet up to the sky and then just bringing your knees in towards your shoulder, just coming into a happy baby. So you can grab behind your knees or if you want, you can grab the inner outer soles of your feet. And just really think about everything sinking into the mat. Keeping that tailbone down towards the mat to so feel like your hips are lifting, really push your hips down. If you want, you can start to close your eyes or soften your gaze and just let your breath start to return to normal. Let any tension in your shoulders go, any tension in your face go. And then the next few breaths, just slowly release yourself out from that posture. Maybe take another couple of little massages of the lower back. And then starting to walk your feet out so that they're mat width at least. Or if you have any back problems, you can keep your knees bent for your Shavasana. And just like we did at the start of class, bringing your right hand to your tummy and your left hand to your heart. Just allowing yourself a couple of moments of rest. If you want to take some nice deep breaths and sigh out anything else that no longer serves you, you're welcome to do that. And just finding